Hi guys and welcome to Journey to Journeyman number 12. I know most of you guys think that I'm Superman, but I'm not. I get sick like everybody else, so if I sound funny, I'm a little bit under the weather. But anyway, I always like to start off by thanking the guys from the last episode. Uh, I can't thank you enough. It's because of the comments, because of the suggestions of you guys that have really helped me to be able to actually make useful products or pieces or tools uh, from my lathe back here. Thank you so very much. Uh, on this episode, uh, a guy at work asked me if I could uh, make him some bushings out of aluminum and I thought why not take some pop cans and see if I can uh, make this, these bushings for him and I was able to do that. If you want to see how I do it, stick around and I'll start off with the order of operations. Let's take a quick look. These dimensions on here are not very, um, they don't have to be very precise, but uh, we're going to go with nominal dimensions on two and an eighth. And then down there we have a 4715 outer diameter and a 245,000th inner diameter. Now our order operations today are, we're going to cut the stock, then we're going to make it round, then turn the outside diameter, then we'll bore the inside diameter, we'll cut it the length, deburr it, and then glance knowingly at the ladies. Now once I center drilled it, I made a mistake and tightened up the four jaws again with it's through the the hole off. And now I'm trying to recenter the hole with that long drill bit. It didn't work, so I tried the stubby bill, the um, drill bit that is that Rick J gave me, and that helped a lot better, but it still was just a little bit off, but I was able to at least get that center in there and not have it wobbling around too much so that I could go ahead and uh, cut the outer diameter. With this interrupted cut, even though it's aluminum and cutting with carbide, you still have to be careful because if you push it too much, that aluminum can and will break your carbide cutter. Now that the part is round, I have to really be careful now and start measuring to get it to the correct diameter. And I use a little trick that a lot of the machinists do once they get very close is you start and take just the beginning of the work, cut it down a little bit, measure it, and keep uh, going on it till you get it very close to where you want it. And once you get that measured and it's correct, then you carry on with the rest of the project and you see I did that right there and, and work on that little bitty piece until I get it right where I want it carry it through the rest of the project and now it's done guys I hate hate blurry video but uh, this is uh, left in here just to show you that I had a little trouble with that hole since it was off center and I used a little stubby stubby drill that is and kinda got it centered up and I was able to then get the whole board down through there. I should say drill down through there uh, straight. This is how to properly use a cutoff tool. So I took the original piece, measured it up to it, got it rough. Then I took it over to my table, laid it out, and got a layout line. And now I'm going to face the rest of this in a three jaw to get it right to the correct dimension.
Then I just took a chamfering tool by hand and went down there and deburred it. It was a tool that Rick J had given me. Thanks again, Rick. And now they're all done. Okay, a couple of lessons learned on this. Uh, the <laughs> number one thing is aluminum is softer than carbide. However, if you're doing an interrupted cut, if you work it too hard, you can break off carbide with, with pop can aluminum. So uh, be careful on interrupted cuts because uh, it can break your tooling. The other thing is, is uh, once you get a hole started and you re-tighten uh, the jaws on there, it will move that off center and you're going to have a hard time uh, getting that back in there. This has been a fun project. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. It's very simple, but I really, really love doing stuff on this lake, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much and hope to see you on the next episode of Journey to Journeyman.